So let's write down few mathematical expressions now. V of n, which is output of the interpolator, uh, can be written as x of n by i, and this will be valid for n equal to 0 plus minus i plus minus 2i plus minus 3i dot 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 and it is 0 elsewhere now this is nothing new this comes from the discussion on interpolation vn represents upsampled output signal by factor capital i the output of the low pass filter is wn uh, which will be nothing but uh, convolution between v of n and h of n when you do this convolution it will be nothing but vk into h of n minus k where k will vary from minus infinity to plus infinity uh, let us replace for v of k here v of k is nothing but x of n by i so it will become x of k by i uh, into h of uh, n minus k where k will vary from minus infinity to plus infinity now if you remember we had done a small rearrangement of the terms here we replaced k by i with some other variable m uh, and that's how this k will become m into i and then we will bring back k into picture by replacing every m with k so if i go through those two steps here i can directly write this as summation of this will become x of k and uh, h of uh, n wherever we have k that will be replaced with uh, k i so that's the uh, expression of w of n so this w of n goes to decimator block and final output y of n is obtained so let's now write down what will be y of n output of the decimator block so output of the decimator block which is y of n w is input to the decimator block so it, it can simply be written as w of n d where d denotes the uh, decimation so if i use the expression for w that we have derived in the uh, previous expression this is the expression for w it's a summation x of k h of n minus k i so i'll use it uh, in this particular expression here wherever we have w of n defined in that place we will replace n with n d so that will give us uh, x of k into h it was h of n minus k i so instead of n it will be n d minus k i and k will vary from minus infinity to plus infinity so this will be the overall expression for y uh, in the form of x of k so to summarize we'll just write down this expression once again x of k into h of nd minus k i so this is what we get and you can see in this expression the effect of interpolation and decimation both the effects are present as the signal x goes through interpolation as well as uh, decimation now let us also discuss the frequency domain relationship whatever we have discussed till now is time domain relationship so we will now quickly write down frequency domain relationships to understand frequency domain relationships we'll have to go back to the block diagram that we have discussed in the previous slide this is the block diagram the output of interpolator is v of n we will first write down w output taken after filter is w so we will first write down w in the form of x the rate on the input of the filter is ifx the rate at the output of the filter will also be ifx because filter is not converting sampling rate the sampling rate conversion takes place only in interpolator and decimator blocks so writing w in the form of x is as good as writing expression of uh, interpolator along with the filter something that we had done previously so let's write down uh, w in the frequency domain first 